Welcome back, everyone. Still hot, but it earlier it actually I felt like a nice breeze. Yeah, I felt okay. a nice breeze too. Yeah. Like we were dealing with those winds around 12 miles an hour today, but uh, definitely seeing just somewhat cooler temperatures, and we're going to expect to see that as we head into the coming days. We're going to see those highs staying in the low hundreds as we go into the rest of the work week. Hot and dry conditions are still lasting, uh, definitely causing that wildfire threat. And then of course we're going to see that quiet weather pattern until this next weekend. We could see some rain chances as we go into next Sunday. However, it's going to be mostly for our southern counties. That's what the weather models are showing as of now. But uh, looking at our current conditions here in St. Angelo. We're currently sitting at 100 degrees. Winds are calm. Humidity is at 25% right now, dealing with somewhat dry air. And as we look at our time lapse for the past six hours, we were able to just just blatantly see uh, just that fire just off into the distance there earlier this afternoon. And now we're seeing some more smoke coming off from the east of uh, west uh, as we go into the 6 o'clock hour. We've received viewer reports of some fire going on just north of Cristobal in and around the wall area. Uh, so we're definitely getting more information on that as we currently look into the next hour or so. But here are the current wildfires from the Texas A&M Forest Service. We have a wildfire just down here in Sutton County. That's the Caverns Road Fire. That's about 2,409 acres. And of course, that's nine. 95% contained, and then that wildfire that's just in Erie and County there, the Noki fire. This is around a thousand acres. That's the, the latest from our one of our reporters, and then so it's definitely was zero percent contained. So we're definitely keeping an eye on that dry conditions, and we're going to continue to see those dry conditions as we go into the next uh, few weeks or so. Current temperatures across the area, seeing those temperatures in the hundreds here in San Angelo, a little bit warmer for our northern counties, and temperatures in the low 90s and 95 in Sonora, 96 in El Dorado. So we're currently just seeing um, some still warm conditions, but we we weren't topping out at 104 or 107 like we saw last weekend. We're seeing those winds out of the southeast at 10 miles an hour, so a little bit breezy in some locations across the Concho Valley. Uh, but looking right now at the current radar, not really seeing too much of anything except for just some small, very isolated shower and moving into our southeastern counties there uh, just north of Junction and so as we go into looking at across the nation we're dealing with somewhat dry conditions here in Texas but other locations they're dealing with some severe weather look at all this rain often portions of the Midwest there uh, near Kentucky near uh, south of Illinois there so we're definitely seeing some stormier areas across the nation but we're dealing with that high that's currently situated over the Texas Panhandle this is going to weaken as we go into the next few days therefore causing us our temps are not be as hot as we saw for the past couple of days, but as we go into our extended future cast, expect to see those temperatures just mainly sunny conditions, not as hot. Highs ranging in hundred from 101 to 102 degrees, and as we head into next weekend, that's where we're going to start seeing the increase of our rain chances as we head into Saturday and Sunday with uh, those uh, increasing rain chances. And weather models are indicating that it's going to be mainly in our southern counties as we go into next weekend. So we could see just some isolated showers for us here in San Angelo, but as we head into Sunday and Monday, that's when skies are going to clear out with mostly sunny conditions with highs just remaining in the low hundreds as we go into the next uh, seven days or so. Tonight getting down to 76 degrees, mostly clear with winds out of the south southeast at 10 miles an hour. And for all the kids heading off to school for tomorrow, definitely wishing you the best of luck on your first, first day of school. Seeing those, uh, this is your bus stop forecast, mostly clear, pleasant conditions for tomorrow morning at 76 degrees. And so as for dismissal, expect those highs to be around 101 degrees, fairly hot as we go into those afternoon hours, still seeing those temperatures ranging in the hundreds as we go into tomorrow afternoon and for the next couple of days. And for the next seven days, expect to see those temperatures just remaining, those highs topping out in the low hundreds, mostly sunny conditions as we go into Thursday and Friday. And then that's where we're going to start seeing the increase of those rain chances for next Saturday. Like I mentioned, mainly for our southern counties, we could see a few stray storms or isolated showers as we go into next weekend. But a high of 99 for next Sunday, high topping out at 100 for next Monday, and then we're going to have another slight cool front as we head into next Tuesday. But the good news here is that we're not going to see those very hot temperatures like at a, yes. surpassing 105 like we saw this past weekend. Exactly. Overnight temps in the mid to low 70s. All right. Thank you, Chris. And coming up on KSAN News, Vice President